Right. Yeah. yeah, I don't know anything. He was just saying. We'll know it pretty well by the time we're done. Well. Alistair's very brilliant, but as far as there's many things that I don't, I'm, I'm very careful not to endorse, such as that. Well, he was, he was talking about people who are doing work in that, not just him. Right. I don't accept it. Because, because of the fact that the numbers don't do that, you're saying the universe can't do that. Because you cannot eliminate, get rid of radi radiant emanation disintegration. You cannot suddenly um, re, re molecularize something that is already demolecularized. But that's an axiom of your. Of, it's of just what that simple. That's what you're saying. Right. Right. And you've come to that conclusion because the numbers don't correspond. When you try to do it with the numbers, it doesn't work. Is that is that the reason? That's right. These all everything we see here is a proof or evidence so that everything yeah. has to move forward. So no. you're saying because of the way numbers, you, you're taking your model of the universe based on the way numbers work. And if the numbers don't obey that, then the universe can't. Exactly. Work. Exactly right. Well, that's where spirit comes in because it's it's a create the creative force. It's not a destructive force, it's creative, which is, again, self-evident. Um, spirit means that everything works in a spiral staircase on the physical world. That means, it's like in spiritual qualities, that means that instead of it just being good or bad, you know, um, black or white, there's actually three qualities. So what happens is, is that everything's moving in a logarithmic spiral, so it's not a duality. And that's why when we get stuck and we have to make a decision and go forward in life, we always have other options. You know, we think this is going to destroy us or this is going to make or break us, but actually each thing leads to another quality. Um, compassion leads to mercy. Mercy leads to forgiveness. Forgiveness leads to, uh, what would be the next one? There, it's different than just being a duality as we tend to try and think of it. Okay. Um, the numbers 3 and 6 are oscillating. So 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5, we've already seen this 3, 6, 3, 6, 3, 6. Here we have 3, 9, 6, 6, 9, 3. Remember the invisible field, but sure enough, 3, 6, 3, 6, 3, 6. Again, a discrete number cannot be created or destroyed. We're all comfortable with that? Okay, last thing before we take down this chart is the vortex. Okay? Okay. So, remember we came down like this, came out, came around like this, we're coming in, coming down, coming out, coming in and around. Okay, what does this look like? These arrows are connecting here, and they're leaving there, okay? I'm going to need my assistance again. It's the hard one. Okay. It is making an egg beater. Okay, we see this? It is a vortex. Now, what does a vortex do? It takes matter, and it demolecularizes it, whips it around, and brings it out now at the bottom. In at the top, out at the bottom. Did everybody see that? Yeah. Okay. And that's exactly, thank you very much. That's exactly what is going on here. It's taking in at the top, out at the bottom, in a vortex. Okay? In and out, comes around again, feeds itself to renew it. And that's how time moves. This is the expanding southern half of the universe. Let's look at it on another chart. Oh, this chart gets saved for one second. It's almost going to go. But it gets saved. Because I don't ever remember to make this point. It has to do with the vortex again. I'm glad you're going to see it. Here is the number two. You see how the number two is a perfect mirror of the number five? Do we all agree with that? Mm -hmm. Okay. But they're inverted. One's upside down. This point 
right here is inverted. This is the inversion point. This is where everything gets flip-flop. See how the number two is over here and the number five is over here? Okay. This is co God's cosmic grinder. Okay, the cosmic grinder. Every black hole feeds a white hole. Okay, every, and the two and five are opposites. Now the ancients knew this. They knew the symbol, they knew everything. But they didn't share it with the generality of mankind, or mankind just couldn't learn it. I don't know what the problem was. Okay. But they left us a clue anyway. Now a lot of people say, hey, this is artificial. What are you talking about? The shape of the symbol having anything to do with the actual function and shape. But you know doubling was how we were going that way, and you know halving was the other way. And it's not by accident they stuck the five all the way down over here to be a mirror of the two, and that, that comes from them both connecting to the one where they connect. It's not an accident. Oh, and then so the eight, the other third part there, is the two more things filled in the side. Yeah. So this is where the whole, the swastika thing came in the four corners. I would think so. See that? Say she is mine. Say what you said again. Two times five? Two plus five is four. Would you repeat what you said? Oh, I said, well, when you combine the five and the two, uh, they together form an eight, eight. to uh, you know, the, 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 like both like ends are open. Like this? It's a digital. It's a yeah, digital. It's a digital eight. Oh, when you combine the symbols for it. Right. Oh symbols yeah, right. Oh, oh, I see what you said when you overlap. It's a swastika, the spiral. Oh, I didn't see that circuit right mm. there. Yeah. I was thinking of, of when you get half, you get point five. Yeah. Is that is that how they're connected? Yeah. Everything's connected. And then, yeah, that's the. He <laughs> just said it. <laughs> but okay. is, say it one more time. Everything's connected. Yeah. But the, the whole secret of that information was kept very secret. I mean, when you go back and you look at bits, pretty now scary. that I've seen things... Are you, wait a minute, are you into conspiracy? <laughs> yeah, but I've seen, you know what I mean, I've read yeah. things and seen little pieces of this, and it was a deep secret and a well-kept secret, but the swastika, I mean, their symbols came out, but they didn't understand the significance of the eternal the eternal life of the swastika. Well, there's two. There's the reverse swastika, which means, yeah. yeah. There's two shapes. Yeah. It just looks backwards. They've been found in every continent, I think. Well, we're dealing with mysticism, and actually, that's my favorite topic, is showing how it relates to archaeology and mystic symbols, and that's my favorite topic. But I'm about to saturate you guys with a whole bunch of stuff anyway, so. Um, so you asked for it by bringing up that stuff. But um, but the point here is, is that they are reciprocals, they always make one, and it has a use. Everything we're seeing here has a use. And the use is this, okay? The use is one times one is one, two times five is ten, which equals one, so I go away from 1, 1, 2, which is a 4, and backwards, 1, 2, which is a 7, and 4 times 7 is 28, which is 10, which is a 1. Do you follow that? No. Okay. I have to just see. I, it's weird because I'm going very long this way and very short this way. You're going to adjacent nodes from the center. Exactly, from the 1. I'm using the 1. I'm not on the 9 right now, I'm on the 1. We learned about polar relationships, which is by the 9. But now we're going to learn reciprocal relationships. The polar is different from the reciprocal. The reason I have the answer to everything is because I'm combining every principle that exists into one ball of yarn. So right now we're going to work not on the polar aspect, but we're going to work on the reciprocal. Reciprocals always equal their beginning point. Okay? One's the beginning, so two and five is the next distance. And two times five is ten equals one. Okay, and so now I'm going to go four, one, two, which is the four, two, two lines away. Bear in mind that every one of these lines, the ratio of this line to this line to this line, is your golden, it's all your means you could ever, everything you want to know. But you're starting with two and you're looking at one and four in relationship to No, that. I'm not going to do that yet. Oh. I'm only counting, I'm going to take, I'm going to start with one, I must end up on one. Oh. And this must be a one, two, because if this is a one, I want one times one is one. Watch. Okay. I'm going to just do it. Okay. One times one equals one, because this is really, 1 over 1. Right. Okay. So I go over here, and because I have two parts now, I don't have to multiply 
two times two and well two times two is four, I've never done this before. Two times two is four, and five times five seven. is seven. And four times seven is twenty eight is ten is one. Yeah, it still worked anyway. Okay. It's okay. I just thought I like to do new things when I can find the things to do because uh, Okay. So four times seven, which is now two away from one, one, two, one, two, equals twenty-eight, which is ten, which is one. And then I go one, two, three, I end up here this way, and I go backwards. One, two, three, this way. So I go eight times eight is sixty-four is ten is one. Always equals one. And I found that this shape always makes the demarcation line. It's called a shear. It's called a... Um, it's real important for modeling electricity. But I won't, I won't go on to it further on the chart because you'll see it elsewhere. But since Charlie brought up one other thing, let's do with two now. Two times two is four. Okay, so I go this way. One times four is four. Then I've got to go like this. Eight times... 5 is 40, which is 4, and 7 times 7 is 49, which is 4. Yeah. It's always going to be a shear, and consistent. Then, yeah, one time, one you're moving backwards, one, or and yeah. forward one, and then the next time you're moving backwards, two, right. forward two. Yeah. Now, 4 times 4 is 16, which is 7. So I go this way, and I go, what is it? Uh, 2 times 8 is 16, which is 7. And then 1 times 7 is 7, and 5 times 5 is 25, Isn't which is 7. That fractal? Hmm? That's fractal. This whole thing's a fractal. I have a chart in here that not only, that I don't have to say one word that is so beautiful, well, it's actually behind this board that you're going to so get to see. So that square plus whatever you Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> uh, Except that this whole thing, doesn't it also have its own mirror image behind it? Yeah, but but... And but it has I'm listening to, to you. there is no but. Yes, it has a mirror image, no. but there's certain laws or certain rules. We just have to understand what those are. You're, yeah. you're already qualified now. You understand enough that you can tell me what that mirror image is and how that mirror image works. That's what we're trying to go after, is what is that mirror? What's its polarity? What's its number? What's its location? Based on up, down, right, and left, front and back. We'll well, get to other, it. There's other worlds, I would think. Other, now, other places that we can uh -uh. tap into to get to? Huh? No? They're here. Well, that's what I mean, they're here, but in another frame of mind, like in another, another type of, uh, not physical plane. It's all interrelated. Most of it. The only thing that's not a physical plane is the 396s. It gets easy. We'll keep working on it. It's a little bit hard right now because I started you from a coil as opposed to the map. But we'll see. Okay. I wasn't going to pull out this I wasn't going to go into this, but I decided to do it now, anyway, for the sake of thoroughness. Okay, we ready? What? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, top quiz. Now, <laughs> this, this method of teaching is called, is called programming. We are programming you. If we, you will have 12 more hours of this. What's my place in all of this? <laughs> what would your place, what, what, what is your place in everything normally? I'm supposed to tell other people about it. <laughs> right, so, so you're a teacher. That's right. Oh, is that it? He says, go join. He says, go out and join them. There's a tablet. By the way, I know, a real beautiful tablet. Rejoin those and tell them, you know, the message. <laughs>